Hey there, my name is Mao. I am the singer and artist known as Mao Mao Mao. Uh, it might be a little loud out here because I'm outdoors, but I know you guys will not mind. So let me answer a couple questions for you. Um, so I put out this EP called Meow 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 recently. Uh, I thought it'd be really funny to decide that from all my solo artist releases, uh, like albums, EPs, whatever comes out, uh, I would have fun with the name and uh, it would be some sort of reference or pun to my name. So, um, what is the meaning behind the EP? So Meow 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 doesn't, it's, I, don't, I don't think it's a concept album. I think, um, I think Meow 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 was just, was just a, a good compilation of songs that I think uh, give you an idea of my personality and who I am and, and what I like to sing about. Um, I decided that my motto was that I make music to inspire and uh, cheer on anyone who's ever felt like the underdog. And so the goal of the album is that, is, is to hopefully make you feel encouraged, to make you feel uh, heard and seen and loved. And because uh, that's, that's what my music does for me. It, it reminds me of, uh, of the love that I have in my life. and, and helps me navigate through life's craziness. What was the recording process like? Um, the recording process was really easy. Uh, it, I didn't necessarily have a studio. Uh, you know, everyone has a laptop nowadays in a home studio, so I took advantage of that situation for myself. And uh, during quarantine, it was a lot easier to just stay at home and do stuff, so. Um, it was just a lot of, of sampling, a lot of uh, just creativity in the in the room. It's pretty easy. Uh, I didn't have any other any other person's input on my music. Uh, I've been in a bunch of bands, and, and that's that's a typical thing. That you know, there's a lot of chef in the kitchen and a lot of opinions. And this was just really nice for me to imagine something in my in my head, hear it, and then and then make it happen in real life. And it was it was a really unique, awesome experience. What was the writing process like? And I think very similarly to the recording process, it was just really refreshing to be in charge of everything myself, you know? I didn't have anybody's input. I didn't have anybody's opinion on, on my stuff. It was just, uh, I got to write exactly what I wanted to write about. And uh, a lot of it came really easy. Like a uh, curveball whipped cream was, was just something that came quickly when, when I started writing it felt like a very good ode ode to that felt like the most the most poignant song to be like this is who I am as an artist I feel dorky a lot I feel uh, I feel like the underdog a lot and I also feel like like life never works the way I plan it and so it just felt like a fun interaction of all that stuff um, stuff like famous also came pretty easy I had a friend who became really famous really quickly and we kind of stopped being friends because of it. And it wasn't like an, an agreed upon thing where it's like, I don't like you anymore. Like we both still respect and love each other very much. He's just famous now and it's hard for him to make time for, for me. And so uh, it was just easy to get that out. I wanted it to feel not bitter. Uh, I wanted it to feel like like a sincere song about, about his fame and how complicated it is. Um, the rest of them also came pretty easy. Uh, it was just a really fun writing process, just to be able to say exactly what I wanted to say when I wanted to say it. Dogs. Dogs being dogs. Who did you work with? So I, I, I like that this solo project gives me the opportunity to work with people that I want to work for, uh, work with and, um, and I, I get to choose who who makes the cut and who doesn't. And generally, I'm not, I'm not very very um, picky about it. Uh, if I like what someone does, I'll work with them. But uh, with this EP in particular, I actually did everything on my own initially. Uh, and then when the songs were finished, I I worked with with a couple of mixers on different songs. Famous was mixed by Bobby Bloomfield, um, who is an incredible writer, producer, um, musician, uh, with Morgan, who, who, who mixed uh, all right, uh, Fernando Familiar, who mixed and 
helped a little bit on production for both Curveball and Happy. He definitely brought those songs from being just cool little alternative rock stuff to like, you know, the, the slapping songs that they are. Uh, his ear is incredible. And, uh, and then I mixed, uh, well, my mix is the one that made it to the master of, of Distracted. Uh, but that song was co-produced. Actually, that's that's the only song that was co-written and co-produced. And I'm sorry I didn't say that from the get-go. But that song was co-produced and co-written by uh, John Silos, who is also an incredible friend, musician, and writer, and so a uh, producer as well. So I had the honor of doing that. And I believe that's it. That's all the questions you guys have for me, which is uh, which is really cool. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening to my music, and I, I really hope you enjoy it. And uh, enjoy the outside, guys. Uh, life is great, and you get to enjoy being outside every now and then. Thank you for your time. I love you guys. Enjoy me. Meow, meow, meow.